I feel like if they would have gotten her help on time, we could have avoided alcoholism. Or at least the, a huge chunk of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to say that she wouldn't go home and feel depressed and have a couple of drinks. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget that call because I, they didn't want to tell me what it was and I thought for sure he's been in a car accident. You know, and I'm trying to call his phone because how, this can't happen to somebody. Like, you cannot possibly have two suicides that close in blood relation. This, this, that's not possible. I didn't want to talk to anybody about it because I felt judged. I felt like oh, now they're all going to think we're like this family of everyone, you know, dies by suicide. And um, I was afraid. So what if this, what if this is like hereditary? And put a daisy? Or just a, the oh, you want a daisy. a daisy? Oh, look, I brought your daisy for you. See? <laughs> it's yellow. You <laughs> mean? We're able to gather DNA of suicide completers for the past 20 years and actually look for genes which might increase the risk of suicide. We know both from family studies but also genetic studies that uh, the risk of suicide from genetics is 45 to 50 percent of the risk. Listen, stuff runs in families. Diabetes runs in families. Asthma runs in families. Many, many medical conditions do. Anxiety runs in families, depression runs in families. Um, so know your family history. If you have a family history of colon cancer, please get your colonoscopy and get it regularly so they can you know, snip out those polyps that may turn cancerous and protect your life. If you have a strong family history of significant mood disorders and you're starting to get depressed, don't say, well, I'll wait and see how bad this gets. My grades are going down, I'm struggling with work. No, get help early. The earlier you get the help, the better. Let's try to prevent problems before they snowball and get much worse. I went to see my psychiatrist right away because I was really scared. I, I, I was just like, wait, you know, my dad wasn't bipolar, but I just was like, oh, well, she did that and he did that. What does that mean for me and my brother? I mean, any normal human would process that. All the other ones are black, not mine. Because I posted on social media, my friend Sam was like, oh, you're going to have to do yours in color. I'm like, she's got a good point. Um, there's no gene that dooms you to suicide. They just increase risk. Yes, genetics is a contributing factor that can put individuals at a risk and possibly be at a higher risk for suicide or for a state of crises. However, it's not the entire story. There are multiple contributing factors that we need to be aware of. I've never seen a suicide, and I've you know been researching suicide for many years, where there weren't multiple risk factors. I mean it's uncomfortable, but I was expecting way worse. It's gonna be so pretty. So the semicolon, which was the tattoo I originally wanted, is the it's it's symbolizes pausing and and like you're important. Don't you know if you're having that moment, just pause for a minute and take a step back, kind of thing. It's kind of a movement towards stopping suicide. And then I always see 11s, the consecutive ones, and I swear it's my sister and my dad. So I was like, well, I kind of want to get that tattoo and I want to get a semicolon. So what I'm going to do is do 11, semicolon 11. And then I'm going to do it in color and I'm going to put it right on my pulse to signify like this is now my purpose. Yeah. Ooh, look at that pink. I like that pink a lot. <laughs> Make sure you have your... <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> All right, you're done, my lady. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to think about the pink daisy, but it's so cute. Yeah, I like it. 
Yeah, it pops off. Like all the colors, like all pop off each other really well. Uh huh. This is way better with the glasses on. Oh. All right, trying to take pictures. It's super better with my glasses. With my glasses on, this is looking good. Okay. Before it was looking good, but now it's looking fresh. I'm more of a fighter, like. My dad kind of gave that to us, and I didn't want to let this take me down. I, I wanted to, it to give me purpose. Like, how can I use this so where I'm, that's not me, but it's my purpose in life to help others maybe get through the same kind of tragedy, you know? And that's what I work to do, just help others.